Techno poetry is the moment um, uh, the dreams you have in your brain start to merge with the real world and they somehow um, kiss or, 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 or collide together. Yeah. Uh, because technology has become our second language, our second skin, but we somehow still see it as something very functional, as something to optimize the old world. And, 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 and I think it's a great way to, to, um, to, to write, to read, to trigger imagination. Mm. Uh, and I miss that in the world of today. So. I'm a happy infiltrator, so, so, so sometimes I do fashion, sometimes highway, sometimes we're working now on a project where we're making the cleanest spot, uh, smogless park in Beijing. Yeah, sort of clean spot, so, so it's, it's sort of a new architectonical space uh, um, uh, which has not been existed, existing before. It's like snow in Africa, people will not know what, what's going on. And I like that a lot, you know, let's, let's make the world better. Yeah, I, I love to make places where people connect again, without having to know each other, without even having to speak the same language mm -hmm. somehow, uh, but but to share, to create a collective experience, which is tactile, which is which doesn't have a bloody download button uh, inside, um, is something that that, that really uh, it, it triggers me a lot, and um, you know I just make it and I put it out there, and but I love to uh, go back and and see how, what people do. Um, you know, they create their own story, and that's in the end what you want. Yeah, it's part of the default. I think we built the first sustainable dance floor, which generates electricity when you dance on it, and after that we started to realize how much electricity our other artworks use, and it, just, it became part of our, of our research and development process, of the materials we use. Uh, so sustainability is about uh, thinking about energy, how do you produce it, how do you consume it, but also, it, it goes beyond the fact sheet, in my opinion. It's also about uh, making things you feel connected to, yes? So you can make the, the, the perfect sustainable recycling uh, building in the world, but if people find it ugly and tear it down in six years, it's no use at all, you, you still fail. So to make environments where you feel connected to, that is, I think, the true ens essence of, of, of sustainableness. It's like Marshall McLuhan said, that at Spacecraft Earth, there are no passengers, we are all crew. Uh, that's something I have under my pillow when I fall asleep at night. Yeah. All these words like design or architecture were, were always meaningless to me in a weird way. Yeah. So what did you do? I built tree huts, I went outside, you know, like played with nature when I was 15, 16 years old. And, and, and then uh, you go to school and you have 5,000 people saying, uh, oh, you cannot do that anymore. And you da, 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 da. they try to put you in a, in a corner and uh, try to make it in a linear process. And in a weird way, I've, I've always resisted that, that, <laughs> that uh, urge of other people. Um, so in a way, it's about, I make these kind of things to personalize or to customize the world around uh, me. And I could, you know, in a weird way, I make these kind of pieces in order to, to make my world understandable again. I, want, I don't want it to be as static and as hard and as brutal as it is. I want it to be soft and open and fill, filled with light. And so the only thing I can do is, is sort of make proposals, yeah, like June is a proposal or Crystal is a proposal, um, where tech is important, technology, but, but also this, uh, yeah, how, how can we make places more human again? I think that, that that's where the fascination lays. Yeah. It's, it seems to me that um, the industrial world that we have lived on for so long time doesn't work for you. You want to bring something else into that space. Yeah, yeah, and I think the, even the notion of how we produce things is, 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 is dying, uh, is only competing within price. Mm. So when you look at the economy, either if it's a road manufacturer or, or a package producer, they are looking for new ways to be sustainable, to, 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 to produce locally, uh, the notion of 3D printing, the notion of personalizing what you're buying. Um, we're changing from consumers to semi-producers. Uh, yeah, this is a process we are in the middle and large companies are scared of that because they will lose control. Uh, and that's why they are still there. Um, but this is inevitable. More and more we will be trained to think like a network where power and energy and money is distributed. 
and, 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 and yeah, that, that's finding the reset button. Yeah. I, I just don't. I just I, I just follow my obsession. I'm a voluntary prisoner, a happy prisoner uh, of my own imagination. So so it sort of comes to me. And then all I can do is just spend an incredible amount of time, money and energy on it in order to make it happen. So sometimes it's fashion, sometimes it's highways, so now it's smog, um, nature, the notion of the jellyfish creating its own light is something which inspires me. But I think the word somehow annoys me because it feels like me sitting under a tree uh, looking at the clouds and then it comes to me. It's just incredible hard work in order to have a sort of taste in your mouth and then go out and find the ingredients. That process, that process of creativity um, uh, is, 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 is just incredibly fascinating. And I think I'm sort of addicted to that. I, I can admit, yeah, I can, and I like that. Yeah. I, I like to become a part of that process somehow. Yeah. The desire to share dreams. Yeah, that I can plug, that you can plug into my neurons and I can plug into yours and I can feel or dream what you are dreaming. I, 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 I don't understand people around me so much. It's, it's, it's babylonical uh, disconnectivity. Um, so the moment to, to plug in each other's neurons is, is something that you and I, I think, will experience. And if you Google BBC Dream Machines, they're already working on that. That's, I think, fascinating to really uh, merge those worlds together. Um, and uh, yeah, let, 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 let's see uh, how the world looks like then. Yeah.